Um, it's about a little girl called Hannah, um, who loves gorillas. She's never seen a real gorilla. She writes books about gorillas, she draws pictures of gorillas, she watches television programs about gorillas, but she's never seen a real gorilla. She's never seen one because her father never has time to take to the zoo. He never has time for anything. And we can see that right at the beginning of the book. Here he is sitting, having his breakfast with Hannah, and it's not a happy scene. I'd like to think that gorillas are good books in the classroom because I think there are many different layers to that story. I think every time we read gorillas, we can find something that we haven't found before. I think there's a lot of conversations to be had in that book. The words and the pictures work together and in a funny kind of way apart. So the, the, the pictures tell us things that the words don't tell us. Everybody here who has anything to do with children, encourage them to play the shape game because it, it, it develops our visual creativity. Oh, it's just to explain what the shape game is for those who don't know it. First person takes a pen and just draws an abstract shape. I say it's like taking a line for a walk. The next person looks at it and tries to think, what does that look like? Can I turn it into something? And that's what they do, they transform it into something. It's, 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 it's a fun game, children love it, but children are so good at it. And one thing I say when I go into schools is that um, writers and illustrators and dancers and footballers and actors aren't any different, or mathematicians aren't any different to them. We're, we're, when we're five and six, most of you must know this, all children can draw, all children can make up stories. If I was to ask a five-year-old, can you draw, they'd all say yes. If I was to ask most adults, can you draw, I don't know what the percentage would be, but a, a large percentage of adults will say, I can't draw. Well, what happens to us? How can that be? How come we're so creative at we five? And we've lost so much of it by the time we're 35 or 45 or whatever. I think it's a great shape. And I think the one way to keep that going is to play the shape game. Children are so good at it. And that's what excites me about picture books, how pictures um, can tell parts of the story that the words don't tell. I'm trying to encourage the enjoyment of the reading of picture books. I do think that picture books are in danger of being marginalised. I do think that um, parents, particularly it seems to me, understandably want their children to do really well. They want them to read early. They want them to read as quickly as possible. I think that's a danger though. I think if we push children away from picture books which they enjoy, and if reading becomes something that's quite hard and quite um, distant from them, not an enjoyable experience, I think we're going to lose the enjoyment of books because unless children enjoy books they're not going to turn out to be um, good readers or people who enjoy reading so that's one thing I'm banging on about picture books are important and uh, the reading response series are pointing this out I think what impresses me so much particularly is the fact that you're encouraging uh, people to read the whole book to really look at what not just the text and as far as picture books are concerned, taking picture books seriously, you really encourage children and indeed teachers to look at picture books and realise that there's a lot more in them than most people imagine.